So when you're on your belly, let your head rest gently to one side. You can bring your arms down alongside your body. Imagine the spine here. Imagine the curves of your spine, that um, central column of light just traveling head to tail. So even if your body um, is not in a vertical position, this is still the vertical axis for your body. Feel the relationship in your body of its coronal plane and the balance between the front and the back. Let your shoulders relax completely and feel the cervical spine in your throat and neck um, relax and release. What I'll ask you to do in a moment is to turn your head the other direction. But before you do that, I'd like you to imagine um, here the front of your cervical spine. So the front of your um, spine that is your neck. You may also visualize the front of your spine kind of as the back of your throat. So if you draw the Adam's apple down, that could give you a, a sensory kind of location. I want you to turn your head to the other side without using the muscles around your shoulders or the back of your neck to move your head. I'd like you to turn your head, keeping the shoulders relaxed down onto the floor and pivoting around the axis in the front of your spine. And when you've turned your head, let it release back down. So we'll go a couple of times here, just moving the head um, one direction and then the other. And after every time you release your head down, notice if you need to re-relax your shoulders. The first time I did this exercise, I was so surprised at how much work my shoulders were doing. But it only took me five or six times of practicing this to let the shoulders go and to bring my awareness more into um, the front of the spine and the support of the throat. All we're doing here is reminding the body that the larger outer muscles, the trapezius muscle, which many of us like to use to do a ton of things, actually doesn't need to work or don't have to work in small movements like this. Notice the, the gliding and fluid feeling of your upper spine rotating. You may imagine your upper spine kind of as a pivot point. Feel your brain stem. And every time you let the head rest, as the upper spine releases, so does the brain. So again, that central channel that we've been imagining, you may also see it as the central nervous system, the relationship of the brain through the spine, letting go of any roadblocks that might be happening at the base of the skull, top of the shoulders and neck. The next time you've come to the side that you did not start on, just let your head rest there for a couple of breaths. <laughs> 